Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com and this is another comic book mystery box unboxing. And what I do on these is I get a comic book mystery box and I unbox it. I unboxed this one last week, but I haven't actually looked at the comics yet. So this is a comic book mystery box from Comic Biz and it's 3 99 for 5 DC comics, but if you buy 5 of these you end up getting 25 comics for 20 for 15 pounds so it works out at something <laughs> I can't it's not very much though considering the coolness of them because I got one of these before and I got some beautiful things like this so let's go and have a look at this one and see what we got so what I actually did was I contacted comic biz on eBay and I said is there any chance you could put together some Women of DC comics? Like a mystery box? And he, and he said, if you buy one of my DC ones, I'll basically hand select some Women of DC comics for you. Which I thought was brilliant. So, little Dennis, he's going to sit over here. Nah, no, he's not. He's going to sit here, look. Doing. And this should hopefully be 25 sexy... DC comics for female characters like the women of DC already I can see a Harlequin 30th edition this is brilliant Wonder Woman special issue number one this is a thick one look this is madness to me I don't know how this can happen because for me I would pay £15 just for these three We've got a Birds of Prey. What issue is this one? I'm not sure. Is this like a little um, one shot or something? Look, we've got Harley here. Harley here. This is. Yay! Harley Quinn 30th anniversary special. This was a one shot. Because I almost bought this. It's like on my wish list on eBay. That is brilliant. These thick ones are beautiful. So I think so far, that's my favourite cover, but this is my favourite one. Because I've been collecting Harlequin. Actually, little Dennis is going to help us with these. <laughs> the next one, boing, Wonder Woman 800. That's beautiful, that is. Extra size spectacular. So this is another big one. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm collecting Wonder Woman as well. This is on a card stock, this one. Yeah. Punchline issue number one. This is um Frank Frank Cho as well. This is a Frank Cho um variant. This is another one I've been watching. Because I'm actually collecting punchline as well now. Because in the previous one of these I got my first ever taste of Punchline and it's, she's become one of my new favourite characters. That is beautiful. I don't think anything's going to beat that for the cover because I'm collecting Frank Cho as well. Oh, this is a nice one as well, look. Wonder Woman 790. How beautiful is that? Look, she's got like an age to her as well. It's also like wrinkly. But somehow it's still beautiful. Huh. That's e Stargirl. Boing! I've not heard of this before. Ah, oh, that's the author. It's Wonder Woman Tempest Ten, Ten Seed or something. Issue number one. Nice face. Look at that. She's got the ocean in her. She looks quite sad though. Oh. It's beautiful, isn't it? The artwork. I've sorted all my comics out and I've got loads of Wonder Woman comics. Catwoman. Is she 46? She's a cool character as well.
<laughs> Look at that hand, look. Yay, another, another Catwoman. Issue 55. Yeah, sexy, isn't it? Cool poses. I like the poses. Issue 3 of 6 of Nubia. I've got a few of these as well. I've got some of these in the comic shop. There's another cool character. That's the thing, I think DC has got the best female characters. Yay! Ah, this is funny. Last week in a um, in a grab bag from Forbidden Planet, I actually got this one. So I've got two of these now. So if I wanted to, I could cut that and put it on my wall. Boing! Harlequin, Legion of the Beasts, issue four. I'm interested in these because of the um, the art style look. All cartoony. Hmm. It's funny. I like the colours on that as well. Yay, Poison Ivy 11. I'm collecting Poison Ivy. This is cover A. I've got all of the cover A's of Poison Ivy. She is probably... I would say... These two, Harlequin and Poison Ivy, are my two favourite characters. But I think Hot Poison Ivy is actually my favourite. Yeah, you got look, issue 13. I love that cover. Absolutely love that cover. This one's only just come out as well. About a month ago. Or two, a month or two ago. This is another hard one. <coughs> That's what she said. Supergirl 32, look. Variant cover. I want to see what Supergirl looks like. Oh, yeah, you can't see her face yet. <laughs> yeah, that's weird, isn't it? You haven't seen her face yet. You don't get to see much of... Um, look, she looks... Oh, look at him. Little doggy down there, look. Boing! Oh, I like that hat. Supergirl 40. Look at that, look. Looks like evil. Evil Supergirl. That is mental, that is. I like the fact all of her um, stuff's ripped, like her, um, the top of her boots is ripped. Batgirl 21. I like that. I like her outfit there. I like that outfit. Who is the enemy within? No, Batgirl 31. I don't know why, there's something about this logo. I don't like this logo. I don't I don't think that logo is a very um it doesn't age very well, I don't think. That that little bit there. How cool does she look there? Wonder Woman. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, issue twenty. I like that cover. You can feel the um, feel the story. Batgirl six. Yeah. Bidding. Somebody likes this one. I wonder if these. Um, I feel like you can actually go inside of those photos or something. Oh, look, we're getting near to the end now. This has been brilliant. Batgirl's issue number twelve. Tiny little people here, look. Boing! Catwoman 43. What a cool cover that is. That's an absolutely cool cover that is. I love that. The final three. Boing! Wonder Woman 30. I like looking at all the different styles of Wonder Woman. 
It's amazing how this character can look so different from different artists. You've got a moustache. I know. Ha! Huh. That's from Hot Fuzz. Plop. The all new Wonder Woman. Again, look. Same character, but that she's way more badass there. Issue six hundred and seven. That is. Ah, oh, sexy. And the final one. What do you reckon it is? It's an old one, I think. Cause is that not a cassette? Oh no, it's a gum. Twenty ten. This was. Another all new Wonder Woman issue. Oh look, we've got a little um a baby run. Huh. Six oh seven and six oh eight. Blue and red. I wonder if they did like um colour themed covers. That's all blue, that's all red. I feel like that's gotta be my my best ever mystery box ever. Fifteen pounds for all of these and I love all of them. I, can't, I think the highlight has got to be that Frank Cho punchline. I can't believe that. I can't believe. I can't believe it. I can't believe these as well. There's actually comics in here which are which are on my wish list. My watch watch list. Well, please let me know what you think about it in the comments, and I'll put links and everything to. To um, Comic Biz's eBay thingy, so you can get these as well. That was a look at some comic book mystery box from Comic Biz on eBay, and I shall see you later for another one.